All right, so here's another way to attach two lines together. I'm going to use some paracord here, so we may have to uh, zoom in a little bit. This Sometimes I use this, the simple Simon, when I want to attach a line uh, to an already established loop. In this case, I've got a bowline in my yellow cord here, and I've got my uh, the line I'm tying on is going to be green. So I'm going to hold my uh, loop, make a little bite in the end of that loop, and I'm going to dive down through that loop. I'm going to come out above the top cross over the loop, circle all the way over the loop, and then come from below the loop and back through, so I exit parallel to the line I entered with. So those two lines come in, and I've made a wrap around that loop, and then when I pull this thing tight, now I've got a great hold on that loop, uh, a good bend that won't collapse even under a lot of pressure. Uh, as always, I could tie off a little overhand sort of stopper knot here in the green just to make sure that that's not going to come undone. And I know I've got the bowline up here, so now I've attached that line to that uh, standing loop uh, really securely, the simple Simon. All right, so let me show you that again. And not a difficult knot to untie even after a lot of pressure. So it doesn't have to be a loop, but any uh, bite in a cord. So I get the bite. I'm going to take my working end of the tying on line. I'm going to dive down through the loop. Okay. Then I'm going to come out across the loop, all the way around the loop. And then I'll come from below the loop to exit so that I have the two lines are parallel. If you end up with the line on opposite sides of that uh, loop, you've gone wrong somewhere. So exit through so they're parallel, pull that down, and I've got my simple Simon.